In the last video, we embarked on a seven day journey on Mardi Gras. Today, we are starting off our vacation the right way by exploring the ship with no itinerary, eating food, and just relaxing. With all that being said, we are so excited to continue our vacation. So let's step into our world here on Mardi Gras. Woo! Hey! Coming up on Bolt, we have what? What do you have plans to do this on Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday. On Tuesday. We're at least going to do it twice. I mean, come yes. on. This is beautiful. Do I look cool? Yep. Oh, and by the way, 300 pound uh, weight limit here. We yes. can't get on it together. I'm already 215. Um, and yeah, no, Karen, you say my weight. Karen's about the rest of that. So oh my God. Do the math. 300 <laughs> minus 215. And okay, then that's see. Karen. Because it's blinking red. So, so look, I'm good green. by myself. 215, right? I'm going to get on with him. She gets on here. Look at the thing. Look at that. Ah, emergency, emergency, <laughs> abort. <laughs> so, so yeah. we have to ride separately. That sucks. Yeah. But lose some weight is what basically what this is telling me. Jeez. I ain't losing sh <laughs> <laughs> If you come over here, you have to do more information about before you ride. You have to check the time slot, wear the hubcap. But the thing is, if it says, if you're trying to ride with two people and it only says one spot left, that means only it's only for one person. So if you are trying to ride with you and someone else, let's say I want to ride here and, and Malik wants to ride behind me, that's considered two people, which considers two time slots, not right. just one. And then in addition to that, it's $15 per person. $15 so per for two people. Oh my people, God, somebody's going by. Oh, so cool. oh that feels. They wow. are moving. That looks like so much fun. I cannot wait to ride that. All right, you see the, what those crazy people are doing up there? Yeah. I'm gonna be one of those crazy people and try it out. She's going over the ropes. Let's do it. So there's this like crazy obstacle literally where you're like off the edge of the ship, which is kind of crazy. And she's gonna do it. I'm gonna do it too. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, bolt shot. Every time they come around, we gotta get the boat shot. This is oh, crazy. Yeah. Literally, a coaster on a cruise ship. Man. All right. So, in addition to the ropes, both the roller coaster, you got basketball courts here, basketball fun, soccer goals to play some soccer. Everybody's having a great time. I'm telling you, Sports Square, this is the deck to be if you are an athlete who wants to challenge himself or get some thrill on the boat coaster, boat shot. Amazing. So, insanity is probably what I'm gonna describe this to be. Some sort of zip line off the edge of the ship. I don't wanna do this. And you're gonna do it? No. Yeah, you're gonna do it. It's like over the water. Y YOLO! You only live once. Yes, ma'am. You only live I, once. I'm gonna live that one life um, very wow. cautiously. <laughs> All right, so Karen got the vote of confidence from no, a no, random I, it, ship goer. If anything, she made it worse. He's going for it. He's going for it. Ah, that's crazy. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Okay, well, all jokes aside, I don't think I'm, I have on the right attire. We'll see. Really. We'll see. Everyone has on gym shoes. So Karen can't do it. No. She didn't bring any closed toe shoes on the cruise. I am so um, sad. You need closed toe shoes and a t-shirt to do the obstacle. So I have a t-shirt on. I have closed toe shoes. So I'm unfortunately gonna have to do the obstacle for you guys. Oh, I'm crying. I'm Which so is sad. so sad oh because gosh. I actually oh. was gonna trick her. I was gonna make her do the obstacle and I was gonna keep pushing. All right, so we are on a shoe hunt yes. to get her some shoes. So that way she can get on this ropes course because it just doesn't feel right being able to risk my life without the love of my life. Uh, so hopefully I we can buy some shoes. About that, and I think you need shoes for the roller coaster as well. Yeah. I think so, you need to be fully clothed, shirt, pants, and um, t-shirt. I mean, and shoes for the roller coaster in addition to the obstacle course. Yeah. So if that is the case, we're just basically knocking out two birds one stone. So back inside, yeah. again, on a shoe hunt. 
She was thinking that, okay, so you can bring your GoPro on there, but you have to have a, a wrist, wrist or chest mount. Yes. I think I have a hand mount. Yeah. Still gonna bring it anyway to see if we could bring it just in case. But they have lockers there. Nah. They do have lockers if we can't bring it on. But the shoe hunt continues. <gasps> Alright, so it is now 420. 420, y'all. So we did some bad timing on weird our stuff. parts. <laughs> Very weird stuff. Need, need I mind you, we didn't leave our room till like 2 o'clock this afternoon anyway. Yeah. We had a big, big lunch at... Oh, gosh, we're back. We had a big lunch at Big Chicken. We what, just go, like an hour ago? Yeah, like an hour ago. <laughs> we just go and check. She's like, oh, what time what is time our is dinner, dinner reservation at Fahrenheit? The steak restaurant. I'm like 7.30 p.m. I look at the thing, it's at 5.30. 5.30. Yo, we have we less just, than an hour. He just bar He just ate. Hey. <laughs> he just ate. Two bur two chicken two sandwiches, chicken a little bit of fries, and some right a little bit. When he said a little bit, yeah, that's a little get, bit. The portions were pretty low. On that, Horrible. I'm not lie to you. And they were like chips, fries. Anyways, we're not gonna, not too much on that. Ding ding, ding ding, ding ding, ding ding. Carnival Adventure Store. If you guys need closed toe shoes, they got you. We went on a hunt for this. We did to let you guys know so you don't have to. There you go. If you are selling Mardi Gras. Just know that it is on deck eight, right after the pizza place, right before guest services. Boom, right there. Oh, 14. 14.95. Yeah, 14.95. This is youth, by so it's all the same. And then you also well, can nope, get to- the adult size looks like it's 18.95 there. Oh yeah, see? But see, it's in my price range, yeah. and then I think I might, might as well just go ahead and get a t-shirt. Yeah, Over two here. for 40? Yeah, why not? get Unless you one, get me one. Yeah, why not? Souvenir. All right, roadblock. We found what she was looking for. They don't open up until tomorrow at 7 a.m. Mind you, it's 4.30. Yeah. Why wouldn't you just stay open for the duration that we're, the sun is out at least? Yeah, so. It's okay. We did all that running around. We gotta go back to the cabin. We have to get ready for dinner. And then after dinner, you guys will finally see me on the road course. Officially. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are back on the Havana deck. Private bar, private pool. Very nice vibes out here. I love it. It's amazing. You look great. Sun kissed. The way the sun hits your skin. Shabam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we made it back to the room. We are going to get ready for our 5.30 dinner reservations at Fahrenheit 555 or whatever, Steakhouse. Uh, we decided that we were actually going to postpone the ropes and all the fun stuff on Debt 16 until Tuesday because we have our boat reservation then. Uh, that way Karen can get her shoes, her shirt, that way we can do the obstacles together. But it's formal night tonight, so we have this dinner reservation. We're going to get dressed up. We're going to go to dinner. We're going to enjoy the rest of our day. Tomorrow we are in the Bahamas. We've been to Nassau before, so we're just going to explore, try some food. There's this crazy drink that they have called Goombe that's so fire. I've been waiting two years to get back to it. But yeah, those are the plans for the rest of the evening. We'll see you in a bit. We're ready for formal night. All black attire for today. White kicks. But her, mamma mia. Oh my, she looks Fantastic. <laughs> Formal night. Kind of funny because last time we went on a cruise, she clowned me. I didn't know. I didn't know about formal night. I didn't know we had to dress up. So I think How I wore like I that. Because I, I had myself. open toe shoes on. She typically oh. is prepared for things like this. I had like shorts on. I felt, if you guys ever watched Family Guy, there was an episode where um, they were actually all dressed formal and Stewie was wearing shorts. I felt, I felt like that. Like I was like the only person wearing shorts. Everyone was wearing slacks and dress shoes. I was like, dude, I'm wearing open toe shoes. Like I'm ready for the beach. Everyone's like, we're ready for dinner. It was just, it was crazy. Never again. So we, we got it together this time. All right, so it is 542. We are 12 minutes late to our reservations, but we are passing the alchemy bar, which is like chemistry themed. We'll have to definitely check that out. Right up our alley. Look at that. Today's RX, right up our alley. All right, where is this steakhouse? Everybody looks so great. Dressed up, suits. 
Now I did actually, I had a, uh, I had slacks, I had a vest, I had a tie, but couldn't get to the iron too soon, so just had to go with the all black fit. He looks great. I appreciate that. All right, we've made it to Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. All right, so a few things here. Look at this beef slider. It's tiny, very, very tiny. It's like a, like pin particles. Like somebody threw a pin particle on here and shrunk it. Nice little starter bread that they have here as well. We'll try this out and then some butter options. But this, I can't get over this. I'm about to try it out. We're gonna try out this beef slider. It's like, it literally looks like the Krabby Patty candy. Like the SpongeBob Krabby Patty candy. candy. Let's try it out. This is good. Look how big this is. It's almost <laughs> as big as my face. I got Fahrenheit 555. That's what it's called? It's named after the restaurant. Go figure. Let's see how it tastes. What's it? Oh, what's the drink? Mm. Rum, orange juice, and pineapple juice. It's probably something else. Pork belly? Mm-hmm. So I got the pork belly for my appetizer, and it looks amazing. Karen got Caesar salad. You know how it goes. And it just rips right off. There we go. Cheers. Wow. It's tender. Oh. Oh my goodness. You. Excuse me, bro. This is fire. Okay, so my ribeye is here, and it looks beautiful, seasoned well. The only problem with this is, it's huge. This is my hand, this is the steak, just for reference. It's huge. French fries are here, mac and cheese is here, Karen's chicken is there. Oh my goodness. Onion rings, mac and cheese, but this steak, ridiculous. He has the chocolate spear. Wow. Look at that. And it's just imploding, just imploding. That's his dessert. Looks good. If you're a chocolate lover, of course. <laughs> but, again, divide and conquer the steak. When you cut it up in pieces like this, it does not look too bad. And you know how it goes. My regular ice cream like I always get. Basic boy. Happy anniversary, though. Love the attention to detail. Karen got the cheesecake, which looks amazing. Hazelnut cheesecake. But the happy anniversary touch is nice. This is cheesecake with hazelnut. Hazelnut. So good. I'm a Nutella person to the T. I love Nutella. I don't eat it a lot because someone's allergic to peanuts. Although hazelnut is a tree nut, I guess we just want to be safe. But, yum. Cheers. Mm. One thing about me, I love cheesecake. That's good. One through ten, give me a rating. Eight. Eight out of ten. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we get all this food. Appetizer, entree, dessert, all for $49? I think it's $49 per person. And you can order as many sides as you want. I got two sides, three sides, all under $50 with my entree, dessert, and an appetizer. I love it here. <laughs> We're about to take a photo. She looks great. Dinner was amazing, by the way. Well, like, dinner was dinner was amazing. Was crazy. The steak, I loved it. amazing. Dessert, we got all that amazing. Food for 45 per person. 49. Oh, 49 per person. But still, worth it. Oh, yeah. An entree, a dessert, an appetizer, drinks, 49. Nice. And the family that was next to us on the table actually let us know gratuity is included in that 49. So it's just a 49 set fee. You do have to pay for the alcohol drinks, obviously, if you don't have the drink package, but yeah. fire, bro.
once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Her patience was top tier. She kept saying how we made her night. It was so much fun. <laughs> I can't wait to watch that video. Every time we're about to go in here, I swear I feel like that SpongeBob scene. I can't get over that. Knowing that we can't record in here, it's terrible. So we just gotta run through here and it's like, <laughs> oh yeah. But with money. Yes. Let's go. Shall we address the elephant in the room? Literally. <laughs> There's an elephant in the room. A little elephant. Look how cute this is. His name, I'm a, let's call him John, because John is the one who most likely made it. <laughs> Ellie the elephant. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I could do Ellie. <laughs> Look at that. It's too cute. What are, what are those things? All right, so we are back in our room after dinner. We were going to go to the M3 magic show, but as soon as we got in there, it it's was packed. packed. Yeah. So there's another showing in an hour. We're going to try our best to go. But we didn't get a chance to talk about yesterday. I put probably B-roll in the uh, first video of this cruise series. Um, we went to the Punchliner Comedy Club. So funny. Amazing. <laughs> uh, it was headlined by Jimmy Delaval, uh, mm -hmm. comedic out of New York, Italian guy. Super funny. Uh, we didn't, we couldn't put any footage in there because of copyright issues. He has to protect his name and all that good stuff like that. Whatever the case may be, we respected that. But we sat in the front row. Guess whose idea that was? It was my idea. I haven't had a good laugh in a long time. So I said, you know what? The only way I'm going to get a good laugh is if I sit right there in the front of the, like, of the, of the audience. And I will go ahead and insert this clip so you can see how close we were to the stage right here. If you haven't seen the first video, here it is. We were that close. And guess who was the punchline for the whole show? It was us. Mm. It was us. Because we were right there. He was going crazy. We were going, he was going in on us. Going in. I'm known for morals around the morals. ship. Morals. Because they the comedian said, what What made you fall in love with her? And, and he says said, his her, her morals. morals. And I was like, I've never heard you speak about oh morals. My the gosh. whole eight years we've been together. He went You want to talk about morals now? And he, now everybody, everybody yeah, see, reminds, so like, hey morals. hey morals. Yeah, yeah. He's a, it, the most brilliant comedian I've seen. I mean, the way he was able to take that on the spot. So my thing was, I thought it was just going to be like a lot of copy and paste. Like he has a show every hour. So I'm like, he's probably telling the same jokes. But how I know it was tailored to the audience and probably who sat in the front was that because he took that morals, he told some jokes he took our life story and the whole time he kept bringing it back to morals and he kept feeding it back in. So he, he mm -hmm. was telling a story. He took the crowd like, they, you know, he went at other people. It was unfiltered. Not as much as us. No, I mean, we're in the front. We basically asked for it. You know, unfortunately, but, I literally asked him mid laugh. I was like, why did we sit here? Yeah, it was. And he said it. The comedian, he, Jimmy repeated. He's like, she asked, why did they sit here? Yeah, it was so much fun. And the best thing about it, like I said, it was unfiltered. It was the first time yeah. that I've seen a comedian 
have no fear of like the cancel culture he was going at black people white people everybody so it, it wasn't wasn't like i mean obviously we were the center of attention yeah. but it wasn't like he was just like hey let me just grill these black people in the front like he would grill us and then he would go get somebody else in the crowd and blah blah mm -hmm. blah and then he come back to us so we, brilliant. Uh, let's just say he overcooked us last night because we 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 it she was felt, it was, she felt bad and I feel it was, bad. It was it was a bit much it, it, for. It was great. It was great though. Yeah. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Highly recommend. 10 I went. Out of 10. I may have went to sleep with some nightmares, but yeah. it's okay. It was I was great. like, you should have said this. My personality <laughs> is something that he couldn't tie it back to. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was it was good overall. Okay, so we put down the camera, picked up the iPhone, so unstableness i'm so sorry it is formal night tonight so we had a little formal but everyone is preoccupied at the shows fancy dinners karaoke best time to best get in the pool. time to get in the pool and not only just the pool the private havana pool it's amazing it's just us and this is our first time on the trip as you know that we're finally getting in water so the fact that we have this to ourselves and we already got dinner out the way we had an early dinner very nice very nice <laughs> I think it's cold. Yeah. He said he's gonna die right in, so let's wow. Good people, good people, good people. It has been a crazy long day. Yep. And we're finally getting the opportunity to chill on the balcony. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about it actually, and we're like overwhelmed. So the ship is huge. <laughs> it's like, it's so, uh, we're so overwhelmed that like it's best for us to just do not nothing. Do anything. Yeah, do nothing. And, I mean, that's, I guess that's the point of relaxing and yeah. booking a trip. You just, just kind of sit there and relax. Yeah. And, we did that today. We didn't wake up early. We didn't get out the room until like two o'clock ish. Yeah. yeah. And that's why we ate such a late breakfast dinner. Or right, whatever. right. And then um, we had dinner right after that. All right. I mean, yeah, we're relaxing. And honestly, it doesn't really take much to like entertain us. It doesn't take much to get us at a great place. And I feel like the fact that we were just able to just be on this cruise, even though we're not doing all crazy excursions and crazy shows back to back. Yeah. We're just enjoying ourselves. And honestly, we appreciate all of you guys for coming along this journey. And we appreciate you guys for being patient with us. I know we haven't been dropping as many videos, but yeah. you know, we, we are just, we're just living our best life right now. And honestly. that's all we can do. You hear the, the waves? It's so soothing. I, I feel know. like this is like the best part of a cruise is literally just relaxing. Just relaxing. Yeah, you can go out to everything. They have books for you. But right. I feel like everything is already fast paced in life. Right. That's like, they kind of try to keep it fast paced. Well, you have your options. You can go to these things or you don't have don't to. Don't have to. We had an early dinner and now like our dinner was at 530. We're chilling. It's 10 o'clock. 10 yeah. 15 now. We're just chilling. We've just been chilling ever since. We're yeah. walking around. Everyone's walking around in their formal yeah, we we're already like, did our formal thing. We did our like, formal thing for a couple hours, and we yeah, we, we got in the like, pool. We, we just relaxed. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's the best part of this, of a cruise. Yeah, relaxing, enjoying the 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 fresh air, the sounds. To, to know that we have five more days of this, it's crazy. It's I'm crazy. Like, I'm excited. It's I'm like, gonna be sad towards the end. I know. No, but we truly appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you go in and smash that like button, smash that subscription button, and turn on that notification bell. It, it's been amazing, man. And it's going to continue to be amazing. Thank you guys again for your support. We truly appreciate you guys from the bottom of my hearts. Yes. We are about to get off this thing and just chill. Nothing. So, the only thing I have left to say is, until next time, see ya.